going so far? It's going good. Um, you know, nothing too exciting. You know, just kind of practicing every day, trying to get better. You know, same thing we've been doing since we first got here. So not much change. What's the biggest difference with uh, Scott Frost being the coach now as opposed to Helfrich? Helfrich had joked just a minute ago that you guys finally have someone who knows what they're doing at the coaching spot. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, of course, of course, Coach Helfitz will say something like that. But uh, no, it's definitely it's a little different. Um, just adjusting to a whole new coach is obviously going to change a little bit. Um, I think it's you definitely get some different coaching points with Coach Frost kind of playing at a high level for so long. He has some different little details, and I think especially you know the run game stuff like you know options and stuff like that. He does definitely has a lot of good insight. But I think for the most part, Coach Helfrich is in his ear all the time. He's out there right behind us at practice. So I think he's still there. He's still coaching. I mean, it's, you can't, he's, he can't just step away and pretend like he's not there coaching. So it's kind of not too much has changed for the most part. How much did last year help you prepare for the speed of the offense? I think to say that you're ready to go when you first get here, probably crazy. Um, yeah. You first step out on there, you're definitely going a lot faster than you think. You know, you can watch it all you want, but when you're in it, all of a sudden things go faster. So I think the difference from this fall camp, just the last fall camp is is huge. I always I joke around with some guys just saying, you know, practice is a lot more fun when you know what you're doing. Yeah. And so I think it's definitely a lot easier now just being a whole year experience and ready to go. How about the difference from spring ball to now? I think there's definitely, you could probably see a difference there too. Um, I think spring ball, the first time really getting reps, you know, we're coming here in the fall, you know, we, got, we had Brian Marcus, so we're kind of splitting with the threes. I think now it's Brian's, you know, moved on and Marcus is the number one guy. So we're actually getting, you know, tons of reps really thrown in there. And I think going through that whole spring, get that many reps and then actually finally, you know, getting actually some, you know, more game time situations, I think really just kind of felt like a little more matured, a little more experience coming into fall. Jake said you guys have a great relationship. Is that kind of Yeah, it's kind of, I think it is. I mean, with? yeah, I, I, most people think, you know, if you're competing with that guy, you probably don't get along. But we're in the same recruiting class. We went to every meeting together. We lived close to each other so we me and him we get along great and I think that's probably something people don't expect but it's been actually a huge relief. At the same time as a result of that do you worry about ever about the future in terms of even through this camp maybe whoever gets to name number two you know, obviously at some point Marcus is going to be gone and one of you guys is there a thought process there? Yeah I mean uh, it's kind of a funny thing as you know with college because you know people can leave soon people can leave later people get hurt so I think it's when you come in here, you always try to plan in your head, what's this guy's gonna say here then, this guy's gonna say, well, well, before I even got on campus, Darren, Darren left. So yeah. all of a sudden, this was all going crazy. And then and then Brian stayed and then left. So was, so I think to sit here and try to predict, hey, Marcus leaves one year, two year, it's, it's impossible because he could leave next year. He could right. leave in three years. He could yeah. get hurt. You don't know. So I think I don't really worry about predicting the future because as we all know, it's pretty unpredictable. But if you see your name at, uh Right below Marcus is on the depth chart at the end of camp. What would that mean to you? Um, you know, you're probably going to feel pretty good, you know, thinking you won, but it really, at the end, doesn't mean much because you're still here at Oregon going to compete no matter what. I mean, Marcus came in here as a freshman, redshirted with Brian, and then when time came to start, we, they competed again. So I think the competition will really never stop. So seeing your name at two doesn't mean much because it could change the next day, it could change the next week. He's, you're, you're still, he's st you're all going to be getting reps. You're still going to be firing out there. So I think at the, it means a little bit, but at the same time, you're still going to be competing the whole time you're here. Thanks for your time. Thanks,